In this video, we will be studying about a circle. All of you know that what is a circle? This is a circle. Exact circle I'm not able to do because I don't have a compass or anything. Circle is an exact circle. Now, the center point of the circle is this. This is known as a point in the center. Let's say C is the center point of the circle. If with this C I draw a point here and call it as A. So AC is the radius of the circle. Now if from this C I extend this point to B. Now AB it is dividing the circle into two equal parts. So AB is the diameter of circle. Now if radius of a circle is 2 cm then diameter will be 2 into radius that is 4 cm because there are two radius attached to it. CB is the radius, CA is the radius and AB is the diameter of the circle that is dividing the circle into two equal parts. So diameter is the double the size of the radius. Now if I say any point A, uh, M. Is the point exterior to the circle? If I say any point L, this is the point interior on uh, to the circle L C. These are the point in the inner side of the circle. So these are known as the point interiors. A and B are on the circle. So these are known as the points on the circle. Now if I join these two parts of the circle and name it as P and N. So this part of the circle which means the connecting two points, any point I take on the circle like these two points P and A and N and B. So these are known as the codes of the circle like P and N is the code, N B is the code, then P A is the code. So what this code is joining the two points on the circle. You when you join two points on the circle and make a line then it is known as the code of the circle. This is a circle with center C. C A is the radius. C B is the radius. See, I draw like this. From center, I draw any line on the circle is the radius. So these all are the radius of the circle. From any center, we draw a line that touches the circle at any point. Then these are the radius. Now, A and B, the two radius, when you join two radius together, a and B is a diameter. N and M is a diameter because it's joining the two radius. If I draw one like say here L then QL is a diameter. Again it's a twice of the radius. O C Q is a radius so CL is also a radius. So two radius together twice of the double of the radius is a diameter. Now this is a circle with center C. Now this P and Q. This P and Q is known as the arc. P and Q is the arc. Whereas if I join P and Q with a line segment. Then this P and Q line segment becomes the code. Now code plus R makes a segment.
on the circle now this area if i say this area is the segment of the circle p and q p and q this is a chord p and q this one is an arc a curve one is an arc so when a region in the inner of the circle enclosed by a chord and an arc is called as a segment so segment you can say it as a region in the interior of a circle enclosed by a chord here the chord is aq and an arc this is an arc of the circle is called a segment right now this is a circle i have drawn with center c i am drawing a line with the radius a i am starting if from center any line you draw and a point is on circle then it is a radius c is the radius now i am taking a other point c b right so this a c b this area is known as a sector of a circle so sector of a circle is a region in the interior of a circle enclosed by an arc on one side so this is an arc of the circle and these are and a pair of radii these are the pair of radii cb is a radius ca is a radius on the other two sides is called a sector so this area is known as a sector if i draw like this a chord pq and a arc this area is a segment this is a radius if i draw a line like this and then an is a diameter now the distance around the circle is called circumference right now take a thread start from point a and rotate it on a circle okay thread on a circle till point a again now open up the thread that distance around the circle is known as your circumference now if i divide the circle with the diameter in two equal parts then this is a semi circle this is a semi circle which means you are dividing the circle into two equal parts semi circle so i hope you have understood circles do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us